How do you orchestrate a harmony of flavors nine years in the making? Here at Knob Creek in Claremont, Kentucky, an arrangement of grain, wood, and water undergoes a nine-year refrain that turns a simple spirit into an iconic Knob Creek whiskey. Much like the careful composition of a musical score, the result is a precise balance of tasting notes that lends Knob Creek its unique chorus of flavors. So exactly how does Knob Creek craft these notes and give a voice to its whiskey? Knob Creek is characterized by its complex flavor, but it's also made of very simple ingredients. The first note in a whiskey's composition comes from its mix of grains, or mash bill, that form the basis of the whiskey. Varying the ratio of these grains lets Knob Creek's distillers control the dynamics of the spirit's composition. The high level of corn and bourbon mash, for instance, gives the whiskey its mellow and sweet undertone. A majority rye mash, on the other hand, results in a flourish that is spicy and peppery. Barley plays a different role. A small amount helps to convert starches to sugars, aiding in the spirit's extended fermentation process. You better make damn sure up front that you've got good, high-quality ingredients, or you're going to turn into have a place where you're, you run into problems as you start to evaluate the liquid down the road. Is it the corn? Is it the water? If you can eliminate as many of those variables as you can, I think it's extremely important. But while the mix of grains might form the tenor of Knob Creek's composition, its true flavor comes from a more fiery source. The secret to sustaining a whiskey's flavor comes from the barrel itself. Nine years in this barrel, you get 100% of the color, 70% of the flavor comes from the charred, white oak barrel that we aged the Knob Creek in. Unlike what you might expect, a barrel's char has little to no impact on the smokiness of a whiskey's flavor. Instead, charring encourages a chorus of chemical compounds within the wood to rise to the char line and infuse their flavors into the distillate. The most important of these compounds is hemicellulose. When a barrel is charred, hemicellulose is broken down into wood sugars lending a caramelized sweetness to the liquid and enhancing its rich color. The white oak's lignins also strike a major chord and are responsible for notes of vanilla and spice. The charring also reduces some of the less favorable compounds within a wood. A high char can actually lower the impact of lactones, giving the whiskey a smooth and buttery taste that holds notes of wood and coconut. This harmony between wood and whiskey helps define Knob Creek's flavor. And using the char four, you get a very nice deep char. Each year that whiskey kind of penetrates that wood a little bit deeper and it continues to pick up so much of that color, definitely, and then the flavor as well. But not all of a whiskey's flavor comes from what's inside the barrel. Since oxidation is a key factor in creating flavor, Airflow also has a large impact. Knob Creek's barrels are made from white oak, which is particularly perfect for aging whiskey, durable enough to keep the liquid in, while also being porous enough to allow some oxygen to enter. This oxidizes some of the liquid's compounds, breaking down the alcohol molecules and reducing the harsher tannins from the oak. Even different sun exposures and elevation can add subtle nuance to the final flavor, so placement in the rack house becomes crucial. Over decades, Knob Creek's distillers will keep careful track of each barrel's arrangement and how that impacts their final outcome. We are playing on our legacy and heritage, but I was lucky enough to be here when the first bottles of Knob Creek were released to the public. And I've tasted it and have been tasting it ever since. And I know if we're, we're hitting the mark and we're doing a damn good job, and that's what it's all about. But perhaps the most surprising ingredient throughout this process is time itself. Knob Creek bourbon is patiently aged over an extended nine-year period. And it's not just sitting there. It's changing in key ways. Carbon produced by the wood's char acts as a filtration system, 
This removes unwanted sulfur that's often found in younger whiskies, leaving Knob Creek's characteristic smooth, full flavor in the barrel. And over time, the whiskey evaporates. Around 4% of a barrel's distillate is lost to the atmosphere every year, a sacrifice to the heavens that concentrates the whiskey's flavor, a process that's lovingly referred to as offering up the angel's share. This lowers the alcohol content and is carefully controlled in order to reach 100 proof, the pre-prohibition style Knob Creek still makes. Proof is very important to Knob Creek. It's getting rid of the alcohol and, and allowing the, the rest of the flavor to shine through. And so I think with Knob Creek sitting at 100 proof, it's very important because it helps to create that balance and that depth of the flavors you're tasting. Finally, after almost a decade of maturation, all these processes combine to create a sweet harmony of flavor notes, and the whiskey is now ready to perform. You know, there is a lot of connection between, you know, what goes into making music and, and the art of whiskey making, right? I mean, you're bringing these elements together that brings you this depth and flavor and this profile, the same as playing music. When people have visions of what bourbon is all about, the Knob Creek checks every box. I mean, the deep color, you know, the rich aroma, the flavor, and then the finish. I've always said, you know, the true definition of a great bourbon is Knob Creek. <laughs>